Hello you two, Chester Boyer, and today we take a look at the Mini Plug Kishu we got to Series 3, Kishu Neptune, and Duma Volcano set. So, this is the third set of, of Mini Plug figures, so, and this mostly focuses on Kishu Neptune, and you get a second Duma Volcano. So, because, well, that's a good reason why I decided not to build a second one, because I got, I got this one from the, from the second set of Mini Plug. So, that's that. But, let's see what's in the lineup. Or, actually, I'm all excited. All right, so out of box one, you'll make the head, tail, and arms of well, these are the two. Well, okay, so you get the you're gonna make the head and tail and these little gold pieces for of Moserex. Out of box two, you make the arms of Moserex and some gold decoration bits. Box three, you got Moserex C, which is his body. And box number four, we got the ammo knuckles. We got the optional pieces, and so we got this. So we got the head. So we got an alternate head for Kishu Yujin, the two open hands for Kishu, no, I'm sorry, Kishu Yuo, <laughs> um, two um, open hands for Kishu Yuo, and a, po a semi-posable red Ryu soul, and Kishu Neptune's head, and last but not least, number five, which is the box I'm holding, Dim Volcano. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at Moserex. All right, so let's take a look at Mo Moserex itself. As you can tell by the name, Moses, the Mo Mosarex, he's he's based off the Mosasaurus, or the Mosasaur, if that's the correct word. Um, of course, you all know he's an aquatic dinosaur. So, you can see the color scheme is navy blue, gold, black, and silver. And, well, okay, for the eyes here, which are, they're pink colored, so. So, yeah, pretty, it's actually pretty big, especially for a mini plug release. I mean, I mean, especially the the DX one was actually a lot bigger. Uh, well, obviously it's a lot bigger, but yeah. All right. So articulation: the mouth opens and the mouth opens and closes, which of course each jaw is articulated separately. The arms swing out to the side, and they go up. They can swing all the way around. Of course, be careful because since these are tight, the you know some things like to pop off. Now, can you be, you can turn the body like this, and you can flip up. You can flip up the um, the back section if you so desire, like a, like a mosasaurus would. And of course, you can flip these back. You can fold this up and down, and you can move this like this little tail bit right here. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for mosasaurus. No, I'm sorry. This is pretty much it for mosarex itself. Harry does have two little Kishiryu, which are ammo knuckles. Of course, the word ammo from ammonites, which is actually what they are, based off of. They're like little, they're little cephalop, they're like little cephalop, um, <laughs> cephalopod creatures with tentacles coming out of the shell. So yeah. So yeah, and of course you can tell the name knuckles. They they become the hands of Kishiryu Neptune. So yeah, pretty neat. Yes, yeah, so there and there are ways you can store them. I just like to store them onto the side of Moserex. So, so they go on just like that. Now in the series, oh, and that tail just popped off. Um, there we go. Now in the series, the ammo knuckles are used as torpedoes. So, which is actually pretty interesting. I mean, because hey, they're they're I mean the I mean the ammon, ammonites are aquatic creatures too. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna take a look at the contents of box number four, which is again. The ammo knuckles and these pieces right here. Now it is separated into two different, um, two different you know, um, categories. We have the Kishu UO um, types, and then we got the Kishu Neptune ones. So we're gonna start with the Kishu Neptune one. So this is basically the head of Kishu Neptune. So you can see it's all stickered. He's got pink eyes, just like with Mozarex's eyes, and of course he's got the trident crest, according akin to his name Neptune. So. Yeah, that's that. Now we got these extra pieces, which are, um, they're pretty much upgrade parts or just adapters, you know, extra, pe just extra, you know, adapter parts, which, of course, if I don't, since I don't want to lose them, I'm just going to keep them, I'm just going to plug them together like this, so that way I don't, you know, lose them. So, yeah, that's that. Now let's take a look at the Kishu Yuo related parts. Now I'm going to start with this one, which is... In my opinion, this is actually kind of random to throw in, but it's basically a semi-posable red Ryusoul in its night mode. So, 
So the only parts that are sacred are the face, the sword, the chest piece, and the shield part. So, yeah. And speaking of articulation, there's a ball joint in this arm. And of course you can tell this arm doesn't move because of the way it's molded. And, and you can actually twist the shield if you wish. I don't know why you would, but... But def now most of the articulation for this figure comes from the legs. So the legs go forward and backward. Well, they go to the back pretty far. And the, and the knees do bend, like, this close. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting, but... I mean, in my opinion, it's just a random thing to throw in. Just a little freebie. Just something, a little bonus -y, whatever, if you wish. But I'm just going to set this off the side, because this is not needed for the combinations that you're about to see in this video. Now, here are the interesting parts. You got an alternate head of Kishibu O. And the one thing that's interesting about this is that the face here is actually painted... Because normally Super Mini Plus sets would have this, but this is actually this is actually a first for Mini Plus. Well, just standard Mini Plus having a painted face. So, and of course I'm going to bring in the original Kishiryu O head, which is from set one, the first set of Mini Plus, which is all stickered. So, now of course there's a big difference is the back part of it. You can see this one, this one's hollow. Well, this one's actually filled in. So, yeah, pretty neat. And of course, you got two open hands, which again, it's just for posability. It's just you know optional parts, which, yeah. Which of course, I'll shut up with Kishu O here. So, I'm going to, we're gonna go and put in the new head, and replace the fists with the open hands with the open hands. So, um, I'm gonna put this one in here. And and there you go. So we got Kishio's new head with his well, Kishio with a new head and some new hands. So, yeah. Now, if you want to go off Dark Souls in a way, you can make him do like the praise the sun pose if you wish. I mean, so do like this. Yeah. Praise the sun! <laughs> or something like that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to do that. But, yeah, it's, again, it's just a little, you know, nice little optional pieces for Kishu Yu -Oh. So, yeah. So now that's out of the way, we're going we're gonna to take a look at most of the rocks again for the transformation. Alright, so let's transform this guy into Kishu Neptune. We're going to go ahead and remove the ammo knuckles. And send them off to the side for now. And we're gonna put in the we're gonna put the head of Kishu Neptune later. So now for these you don't need you don't need extra adapter pieces for the com for the transformation. So for that's the side. And the transformation is pretty much the same as the deluxe version. So remove the tail, fold the back fins up like this, and separate the legs. And they come around here. I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit. All right. We'll go down and fold the arm. We're gonna fold the arms down like this. And before we do that, then we bring in the ammo knuckles. And you may want to know it doesn't matter which side goes which. I mean, they both look the same from either side. So, so just like that, turn the head like this so that the gold part is facing to the right side. Now, if you want, to, you can go and open it up and then put the head in, like you would. However. And what the nice, nice little optional bit right here is that there's actually a second set of holes right here. Like, this is the one you normally use for Mozarax, but if you want to use it for Kishu and Neptune, you use the outer ones. So, so if this was like, remember this was like this, and then you can put it over like this. So, so basically, you can see his head a bit more, a little better. So, so plug it in like that. And one more bit is to take the tail, hold this little handle down. Which becomes his trident weapon. And there you have Kishu and Neptune. Very, very cool, I will say. I mean, I do like how the jaws of Bozorex become like a like a big collar. Again, very, very cool. Um I do like all the trident details they got going on here. Well like well, of course this arm's coming off, but like we got the two triants on his forearms, we got the triant for his for his visor. 
and we got his weapon, which is of course, which is obviously a trident. So, uh, yeah, this is the thing to expect with model kits, especially mini plot. Some some parts like to pop off. So, um, yeah. Now I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move the tail, the the, the um, trident for now, and this discusses articulation. So, heads on a ball joint. You can move this from side to side, but that's for the transformation for um, Kyushu Neptune to Moserex. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. Because the arms do swing out like this. They can swing all the way around. There's it. We got, we got um, a shoulder joint right here. We got, well, now the elbow's a bit limited because of the um, trident piece. This little trident detail. But they can go backward, but that looks painful. And of course, there's a wrist and there's wrist articulation right here. So that's cool. Now there's waist movement right here. Uh, okay, this is. <laughs> Sorry, just bear with me because these things like to pop up really easily. But now for the legs, they can swing out to the side a little bit. Now they can go backward and forward, but if you want to do that, make sure you unplug the front and back skirts of Kyushu and Neptune because that way you can move the, the legs up a little bit. So, well, if you're going to pose them, so, yeah. You can see because they're actually pegged in to the front of the um, hips right here at the top of the legs. So, so once you tap them in, they're not going to go forward and backwards. So make sure you unpeg them so that way you can pose them. So, so yeah. And other than that, there's a knee joint right here which goes a little, which goes down a little bit, but if you want to you can flip this gold piece down, and you can give him more, more knee joint, more of a knee joint. So, if you want to do that, and of course he's got ankles, so th this can it can twist, and of course it can bend up and down like this. So, so you can see this guy's this guy's got quite a lot of posability. So, very interesting, I'll say. So, with that out of the way, we're gonna take a look at the two combinations that involve. Well, we're gonna take a look at the first combination that involves him and. Dima Volcano. Alright, so let's do the combination between Moserax and Dima Volcano. So we're going to set the ammo knuckles off the side. And we're going to put Dima Volcano off the side for now. We're just going to need to break this guy apart. Well, not entirely, but we're just going to remove the arms, remove the head, and just leave it like this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take apart Dima Volcano and remove this piece right here. Swap this piece around. Uh, keep this. Yeah, keep this on. Yeah, remove the head and remove the legs. And from here, split them apart. And pretty much like this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take Moserax's head and put this piece on. Like so. And then we're going to take this piece right here and plug it onto the back like this. And before we add this onto here, we're gonna make the legs first. So, so make sure now I'm gonna make sure the lightning now I'm gonna make sure the lightning bolt um sticker is facing outwards because you want to plug them in like this. So, yeah. Now speaking of lightning bolts, this this much explains why it kind of gives us the answer as to why there are right that were like random lightning bolts on Demo Volcano. Well, it's for this particular combination. So we're gonna plug it onto the side like this, and like this, and then we can go ahead and plug this piece on top using these uh, four holes right here. So we got, so we got him standing. Now we're gonna make the arms. Now we're gonna make the arms of the combination. So, uh, okay. All right, I'm trying to fix his mouth a little bit. Okay, got that done. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna take you're gonna take Demo, Demo Volcano's head and fold it upside down, and then you're gonna go ahead and plug this on here like this, like this. So just make sure you swing them up like this, and and so plug this in. And then flip the 
what was the um, the forearm of of Kyushu and Neptune up like this, and that creates the arms of the combination, which is called Spine of Thunder. That's right, Spine of Thunder. And of course, he takes the form of a Spinosaurus. It looks a little silly, but it's an, it's an official combination. So, but yeah, it looks a little silly, but it's pretty cool. It's not bad. I mean. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and of course, he's got very bulky arms, you know. And, um, uh, and yeah. But, one thing I do like is that they use the ammo knuckles as toes and feet of Spino Thunder. I do like that. So, yeah. Okay, so, articulation. Actually, wait, before you do that, make sure you flip this piece up. Again, just for, you know, added detail. And yes, that's... And yes, you're officially supposed to do that. So, yeah. Um. So, head's on... Let's say... Okay, let's say the head's on a swivel. The the um, the little um arms right here do move on a swivel. You may be wondering, do the legs do... Do the legs move? Yes, they do. So. So, yeah. That's all you really need to know about Spinal Thunder. Now let's get on to the last combination. All right, so one more official combination for um, that involves Kyushu Neptune is the one that involves Kyushu Yo O and D Dima Volcano. So we're gonna put these ammo knuckles to the side for now. Well, to the side because these are not used for the combination. So we're gonna put these push these off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and remove the Tiramiko head, remove the drills, and remove the cannons. Put this back on. Now the instructions do tell you to put to move the head, but I'm gonna keep it on just for just for show accuracy's sake. So yeah. Then we're gonna take Mosarex and and we're gonna move the tail, and this tail is and the tail is not used for the combination. So sling you know. So remove the arms, remove this piece, and and split the entire body apart. So, like this. And set these down. Um, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and put on his new shoes. His new platform shoes, if you will. So, we're gonna take this one. I'm gonna plug it underneath Kishibu O's um, right foot. And I'm going to do the same with this with this one. And then from here, they're gonna turn these back fins around so that they're flush with Kishibu O's um, toes. So turn around like this, and there you have his platform shoes. And next, we're gonna take what were Mozarex's arms, and you're gonna plug them on the front of his legs. So just like this. Um, okay. Alright. Okay, that's that. Um, okay, so we're going to take Mozarex's head, and you're going to turn this bit around like this so that the black part is facing downwards. And that, this is going to plug onto the right, the right arm of Kishiryu O. And I'm going to take one of the candy pieces from Kishiryu O and plug it onto this this part right here. That way it, it holds the Mozarex head in place. So, just like that. Now for the other arm, the power goes like this. So drill, cannon, drill. And then you're gonna plug the, and you're gonna put the Tiramiko head on like this. And then you're gonna, now, the pegs, now this, the set of pegs, the set of holes you're gonna use is the middle one. So, which are, you know, which are from the cannon ones. So. So plug it onto the side like that. And it's pretty much that. Now we're gonna add on some Duma Volcano parts. So we're gonna take this piece right here. And this now the head now the head of Duma Volcano is not used for this combination. 
But what's used for the combination are, um, let's see. Okay, I was trying to look at the, uh, okay. Actually, okay, this piece, this piece right here is not used. So, but this is used. And these two are used. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug what were the legs of, what, what, what were the two halves of his body of the volcano. And you're going to plug them on top like this. So it kind of feels like you're making Kishiri O Dimma Volcano in a way, but not quite. And then we're going to go ahead and take what was the tail of Dimma Volcano, split it in half. And you're going to take this piece oh, that was on the side of Dimma Volcano. And you're going to flip this, this little um, face plate up. And that plugs onto the front of Kishiri O. And there you have Gigant, Kish, Gigant Kishiryu-O. So yeah, this is Gigant Kishiryu-O. So I'll start with the head and chest. Um, you can see we got we got like red on this side, we got blue on the other. And this and this pretty much explains why um, why there was blue like random bits of blue on Dimbo Volcano. Well, that's for this combination. Um, so yeah. And one last little attention to detail is his visor, which is a purple color. Since so you know red and blue, when mixed together, make purple. Very nice little attention to detail, Bondi. Very nice, very nice little attention to detail. Um, now you can see the legs are a bit of a mess because you got like you got two Moser like you got the Moserex arms on the front. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that that the two halves of his legs are are um, platform shoes. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hollow, um, from the front, but what can you do about it? Um, and one thing to see about this is that both of his arms, he's got two, he's got two heads. So we got the Tiramigo head, we got the Mozarex head. So basically he could perform a double biting attack. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, so, yeah. Um... So yeah, I mean, I mean there are other ways you can use um you know other pits for you, you can like you can like you can put this thing into its hand like this if you wish to give him like a like a little axe or something which okay if you put too much pressure on it this this thing will pop off so you can actually do something like that but but yeah so that's pretty much it for Kishiyu O um articulation well I'm not even well let's say that the arms move the elbows move the wrists do move still. And the legs, knees, and joint, neg the um, the knees, and the ankles, and the hips move. But I'm not gonna risk, you know, moving this thing a lot because you know some bits, you know, some pieces will fall apart. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, at least you got that for you know, again, again, just typical, you know, typical mini plot articulation. And there we go. So overall, the Kishu Neptune and Dimma Volcanoza is a very nice addition to your mini plot Kishu Yu collection. It's a lot of fun, and it's actually pretty fun to build too, especially Kishu, especially Mozarex or Kishu Neptune in this case. Um, and yeah, now I forgot to I forgot to ask you a question as to why I got like these boxes right here on the back. That's because I bought the twelve pack box because Ami Ami was like. Um, well, I just say that the five pack box, which is the one I was really supposed to get, like ran out of stock like like super quick. Um, so basically, it's like, oh great, and I have to pay more for Kishu Neptune, huh? I was like, okay, fine. Okay, I'll just get the twelve pack box, and um, yeah, <laughs> the rest is history. Um, but don't let that push you away because this is actually a pretty great set. It's fun to build, and it's nice little random thing they throw in here, which is you know this red Ryu Soul um figure, um. And you get these optional parts for Kishu Yu O, which is the head with the painted face, and you get two open arms for Kishu Yu O. But yeah, that's such a pretty neat. And of course, you got these little extra adapter pieces, right, which right, which are right here. So yeah, that's neat. That's also neat to have as well if you want to make your own custom combinations. Because hey, that's the whole magic of the Ryu Soul Joint system. Yeah, that's the gimmick. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, I do recommend this if you're, if you've been a mini plug collector, if you're a fan of model kits, or if you're a fan of, of the show, and also if you're a fan of Mosarex or Kishu Neptune. And, uh, yeah. 
that's all I can say about it. So yes, I do recommend picking this up, but I only recommend the five pack box if you can get it. So, yeah. Now the fourth one after this one is Kishu Yujin, which was the movie exclusive mecha. Um, I'm kind of debating whether I should get that or not because the thing about movie exclusive mecha is that they're pretty much optional pieces. Um, maybe like like I don't have to get Kishu Yujin, which which again he's the movie exclusive mecha of the season of the show. Um, so you can so you can actually get it if you want to get you know get some more customization options, or you could just pass it. I mean. I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, I mean, yeah. Like, I don't have to get Kishu Yujin, you know, the mini club release of that. Um, or I could, I could just wait for, you know, more resoles, like the main series resole, resole, um, the Kishu Ryu, whatever they're called. Um, so yeah. So enough of my babbling. Um, so thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I will catch you next time.